Hello, this is the Search, Nav, and Support Announcements Digital Experience Group. This is week nine, fiscal year 23Q2. Um, and we're going to go over what we released for this iteration first. That was our mascot. Um, it was awesome. We all, we all had cow avatars in the sprint planning video. I definitely recommend checking that one out. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Laura to start here. Take it away. Uh, sure. Uh, so this iteration, um, I did a couple of navigation, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of navigation changes, um, adding some links to leadership page, uh, let me find my board. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, adding an always iterating link, um, adding, uh, fixing the DevOps lifecycle order of things in the navigation, and then adding a link to leadership page. Uh, and then I did all of the navigation release. Uh, so thank you to Miguel and Lauren for yesterday, kind of assisting with that release when we saw some caching issues. Uh, so that's out now. Um, I deprecated a bunch of events pages. So far, so good. No complaints um, from our uh, partners and cross-functional teams there. Uh, and then I fixed up and finished the events um, migration over to the new buyer experience repo. So that's in review now. Uh, and I think that's it for me. Uh, do we go to John next? Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, on this iteration, I work first on the uh, small business uh, get started for my business. Sorry, I will share and I will show you. Okay, so this is the page I worked. Uh, we have a breadcrumb. In this case, is is a breadcrumb in the buyer experience repo. Also, I work for the breadcrumb in in the slippers. I will show you that after showing this. Um, I did all of these these new um, steps component, I added a thing that we do not have in any other accordions is the animation. This cool animation, I had to use view animations and it's very cool. Also the show up. Also I did this uh, component and that's it. Uh, also I did this uh, bread com component in, in slippers. We have static and dynamic uh, breadcrumbs. So in the case of a static, we, we can put an array of each crumb with the, with the path and, and, and the title and all that stuff. But if you want to use the breadcrumb, defining it uh, by the URL of the browser, we can do that also. In this case, I cannot show it because Slippers does not have any access to a router. So in order to do that, uh, we should put the, the router as a parameter. But either, in either case, it works the same. Uh, we have it for mobile also. So for mobile, we have the last, uh, the, the last back page of the, of the breadcrumb. And if we, we, can we can truncate the text, so it's responsive. And that would be it for me. Um, I'm next. Um, I think I'm, I am. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will show you my board. Uh, just a sec. Uh, yeah, so uh, I didn't do uh, much progress with the navigation. Uh, we released yesterday, but it appears that the library or the package isn't working uh, on production. Uh, I have to take a look at that because uh, although we we can see the changes on local, uh, for some reason in the review apps or production, it doesn't work. Uh, so I have to get back to that. Uh, it's been quite heavy <laughs> uh, to do it, but I think that in the end, um, we are going to need to uh, implement our own focus trap, uh, just as uh, Tyler suggested. Uh, thank you very much, Tyler, for your suggestions. And um, so I think that will be the way because we can have control on edge cases and stuff that, uh, like, for example, the, the deployment that isn't working uh, because we rely on, on a third party. So I have to take a look at that. Um, I did uh, some progress in the support page. Uh, I also uh, use a lot of the things that uh, 
John just show. Thank you very much, John. <laughs> uh, everything looks great. Um, so compared to what we have right now, uh, this super page is, looks very nice. Uh, thank you very much, Gary, for the fast review. Uh, I just have to add a couple of uh, icons and copy, and it will be ready to go. And uh, also, I did uh, some progress in the. Um, oh, just a sec. In this page, uh, I just uh, I'm missing one component that should be ready soon. Just a second. Uh, we have a uh, kind of similar uh, 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 accordion that John showed. Uh, it just needs some changes and it will be ready for uh, go going forward. And yep, that will be it. I think next one is Gary. I'll, I'll do uh, miracles. Um, so for this iteration, um, depreciated 16 resource, resources, um, which is awesome. Also shipped um, the G tag on the dub 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 repo. And I'm actually gonna show um, the, that one. So in the dub 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 repo now, it's in the head here and the G tag will fire. So it um, denies consent and ad storage by default for these countries, um, which is awesome. And we have another MR teed up to do that um, in buyer experience, which we're gonna continue working on. Um, I'll pass it over to Carrie. Yeah. Um... For this iteration, um, I mostly worked on the search. Uh, I'll share my screen somehow. Interesting. Yeah, so um, I worked on a redesign of the search, but mostly just to kind of test. Um, and we'll probably have to iterate over it um, after our findings for research, but um, our, our testing included um, a basically um, testing the, the current experience and then we did like a test of the redesign just to see what people would say. Um, and we focused on um, several different things, including um, we, we just, these are just kind of like tests to see if they noticed, if it was an improvement, um, but we we did something like making the search more um, prominent, adding domain specificity to the search, um, understanding current design of autocomplete um, and seeing where we can improve on that. Um, and then redesigning of the autocomplete as well. Um, and then redesigning of the search results. So I'm, I'll do like a more thorough recording of this presentation, but I think they're all um, good insights for people to look at after. Um, and that was mostly it for me. So I'll hand it over to you, Lauren. Awesome, super, super cool. I'm really excited about elevating our search experience. That's gonna be huge for us. Um, for this iteration, um, I got the visible tag to only show once and that change is live on prod um, in the product, which is awesome. Um, I learned that um, for gitlab.com, they actually deploy several times a day. So we don't need to wait until the next release of the product to get changes to it. So that was a really cool, cool thing to learn. Thank you, Dominique Couture for, uh, I don't know, let me learn that. Um, I closed out the becoming a manager uh, issue um, and then iterated on our um, job families and onboarding templates a little bit more and then a couple announcement issues and then continuing to work on um, brainstorm on um, implementing and measure MRs by type. So kind of a um, product development process for our group. And that is it for um, us. So we will see you next time with 
a new mascot. 